again. Performances of Bizet's opera Carmen shocked Paris audiences in the 19th century. And as Sylvia Smith reports, the famous opera is still eliciting strong reactions in this century. Not the usual sounds you'd expect from the African bush. And at least one local resident was caught off guard. But for the audience invited to Hell's Gate near Kenya's Lake Naivasha, it was a unique opportunity. Opera in the wild. Bizet's Carmen centers around the turbulent love life of a beautiful gypsy girl. It was a novel idea and I think um, it has worked well because God and Opera is used to doing things in different places and this is a really different place. And how better to spice up the storyline than an actual flamenco dancer flown in from southern Spain. The African audience ate it up. They're not exactly naive, that's the wrong word. They're just open to it in, in more than a, a British audience would be. I really loved it. Um, I felt like I, I'm really missing a lot because I never get to see operas. I only hear about them when I'm watching movies and it's my first time to see it and it really hits me. It's so good. And for even singers used to performing in unlikely places, this was definitely a first. The point of Garden Opera is very much to bring opera to people who don't normally watch opera and to very unusual places. Um, but this is the epitome of unusual even for us, <laughs> I think, and it's a very beautiful place another destination mount kenya and another enthusiastic audience kenya's vice president arrives in style and actress stephanie powers is on hand to lend her support i think coming to kenya is a wonderful thing to do and i hope more people will do it some of our conservation projects our grassroots conservation projects really depend on cons on uh, tourism and then it's time for the encores and final farewells. As this extraordinary event comes to a close, it's more than just the audience that's been inspired. An idea has been planted that opera and culture could be one way to restore Kenya's ailing tourism industry. For CNN's Inside Africa, I'm Sylvia Smith in Nyanyuki, Kenya. And from the stage in Kenya to the stage in South Africa.